all the factors that affect the quality for production, few have more impact than lighting and audio. We were grateful to have had Aperture and Rode join us as sponsors for our short film. Both companies make excellent products with extreme attention to detail that can be both heard and seen. When selecting gear, our goal is to keep the production package as light as possible. For lighting, we use the Aperture 120D Mark II, the 300D Mark II, and the 4-pack of MCs, which are small RGB lights that pack a lot of punch. In addition to these lights, we used a variety of modifiers, soft boxes, bounces, diffusion, and negative fill. This helped establish the moods we were looking for by shaping the light. One of the best parts of Aperture's LEDs is that they're battery powered, either internally or externally. This was essential when we were camping in the middle of nowhere and didn't want to haul around a generator just to get a fill light. The built-in battery on the MCs provided 60 minutes of runtime and charged conveniently through the magnetic case. Not having cables or other bulky batteries was another helpful aspect of the MCs, and we were able to mount them in really tight spots, such as the inside of the lampshade or on a car dash. The magnets were also very helpful for mounting. Audio is also a crucial part of any production. In order to fit our tight schedule, we opted to have the driving dialogue of the story be handled through voiceover. Life has quite the sense of humor. It's important to remember that and not take it too seriously. This meant that the main sounds we were capturing while shooting were more nat sounds or natural sound for building out our sound design. To capture audio on set, we used Rode's Video Micro NTG. This is an incredible little microphone. It also has a built-in battery that lasts for ages and conveniently charges through USB-C, which also converts the mic into a USB mic that can be used to record voiceovers and other effects. The built-in gain control also makes adjusting levels on the fly fast and easy. Rode's entire lineup is solid, from the game-changing wireless Go Lav mics to the NTG5. No matter your audio needs, be sure to check out Rode for your audio considerations. There are a lot of resources on YouTube and other creator courses for how to capture great audio and lighting, so we won't be doing a deep dive here. But if you're just beginning the journey as a filmmaker, here are a few key pointers. Both light waves and audio signals fall off exponentially the further you get from the source. Keep your mics as close to the source as possible for the cleanest signal. If you need more light but have limited output, move the light closer and adjust your camera framing. Less is more. Unless it's a stylistic choice, let your lighting be practically motivated, such as the sun through a window. The same is true for sound design. Going over the top can become distracting. Don't have a good mic or lights? Get creative. Gaff tape your phone to the end of your boom pole and use the built-in voice recorder for a mic. Need a light? Pull up a fully white screen on your computer or phone and turn up your brightness. You'll have to shoot tight, but this may be just enough light to provide the catch light that you're looking for. As discussed previously in this series, gear is just a tool, but when properly sourced, it will help elevate your productions, not hinder them. We love working with like-minded brands who put so much thought into the production workflow. All of the lighting and audio gear from Rode and Aperture helped add extra depth and diversity to the final project. If you'd like to see more content like this, let us know in the comments below. And until next time, go out there and share your stories. So often what we will do on set is we'll run around with a, a, a camera with a VMNTG attached. We really want to pick up some of that uh, noise over there. Let's go over and um, literally hold up the camera right next to the sound and pick it up.